Hello students, let us solve more questions of height and distance. This is a question number one. From the top of a building 60 meter high, the angles of depression of the top and bottom of a vertical lamp post are observed to be 30 degree and 60 degree respectively. Find first part. The horizontal distance between the building and the lamp post. Second part, the difference between the height of the building and the lamp post. So, student, let us draw the diagram. From the top of a building 60 meter high, so CE, CE is the building 60 meter high, and the person is standing here at the top of the building then it is given the angle of depression of the top and bottom of vertical lamp post so this is the lamp post ab okay and the angle of depression person is standing on the top of the building then the angle formed from his eye of the top of the lamp post and the bottom of the lamp post are 30 degree and 60 degree then we can say angle F E A is 30 degree and angle F E B equals to 60 degree okay student always remember when we have to draw the angle of depression we have to draw a line parallel to base then the angle of depression formed with this line not from the vertical line always remember okay generally students they are doing mistake they want to show this angle as the angle of depression it is wrong angle always formed with the horizontal line so angle of depression given this is the horizontal line parallel to the base so this angle F E A and angle F E B are the angle of depression of the top and bottom of the lamp post. Correct? So now students this is 30 degree and this is 60 degree. The height of the lamp post is given 60 meter. Okay. So students angle F E A equals to angle E A D. Why? Because this and this line are parallel. So, these are alternate interior angle. Okay. And similarly, angle F E B equals to angle E B C. Alternate interior angle. Z is there. Student, you can see. So, these are alternate interior angle. That's why angle A will become 30 degree and angle V will become 60 degree. And we have supposed here the height of lamp post is h meter. So AB equals to DC equals to h meter because, because these are the opposite sides of rectangle formed. Okay. So when CD equals to h meter then we can say DE equals to 60 minus h meter because the whole height of the building is 60 meter. So DE will become 60 minus h meter. And we have to suppose here BC equals to x meter. So BC equal to AD equals to x meter because these are also the opposite side of rectangle. So student, all the information should be mentioned in the diagram and you have to draw the diagram properly. Correct? So let us write about the diagram. We have to write here. Let AB be the height of the building, lamp post. C be the height of the building. AB equals to H meter, C equal to 60 meter given, let BC equal to X meter, so BC equal to AD equals to X meter, CD equal to AB equals to H meter, so D equals to 60 minus H meter. Okay, angle F E A equals to 30 degree. 
एफ ई ए थर्टी डिग्री एंड एंगल एफ ई बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री एफ ई बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री देन एंगल ई ए डी इक्व टू एंगल एफ ई एक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्री एंड एंगल ई बी सी इक्वल टू एंगल एफ ई बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री अल्टरनेट इंटीरियर एंगल्स आर इक्वल वेल लाइन्स आर पेरल दिस एंगल इक्वल टू दिस एंगल स्टूडेंट एंड दिस एंगल इक्वल टू दिस एंगल नाउ स्टूडेंट ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन वी हैव रिटर्न और लेटस टेक ट्राइंगल एंड टिग्नोमेटिक रेशियोज टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू टेक ट्राइंगल बी सी ई Why I have taken this triangle first? Because students, you can see C is given to us, so we can easily calculate BC, and we know that to use trigonometric ratio, we have to take a right angle triangle. So BCE is a right angle triangle. Angle C is ninety degree. So always remember, student, we have to take right angle triangle. So in triangle. BCE tan theta equals to P upon B, tan 60 equal to 60 upon X. Value of angle 60 perpendicular 60 meter base X, so 60 upon X. Tan 60 value root 3 cross multiplying root 3 X equal to 60 X equal to 60 upon root 3. This is equation number one. Correct. Now in triangle ADE. Again, the right angle triangle. We have to take A D E. This angle is ninety degrees, student. A D E. Okay. So tan thirty equals to perpendicular sixty minus h base x. So tan thirty equals to sixty minus h upon x. Tan thirty value one upon root three equal to sixty minus h upon x. Cross multiplication. So x equal to Root three sixty minus h, putting the value of x from equation number one. This is value of x. So at the place of x, we can add sixty upon root three. So sixty upon root three equals to root three sixty minus h. Sixty equal to root three root three three by cross multiplication. Three sixty minus h. Open the bracket. One eighty minus three h. So sixty equal to one eighty minus three h. So three h equals to one eighty minus sixty. So three h equals to one twenty, h equals to one twenty upon three, h equal to forty. So student, we have got the height of lamp post forty meter. Okay. Now let us find out the answer of both part. First part, the horizontal distance between the building and the lamp post. So this is the horizontal distance means the value of x. So the value of x is sixty upon root three. So we have to rationalize it. Sixty upon root three into root three into root three. So it will become sixty root three upon three, twenty root three. X equals to twenty root three. So students always remember: don't rationalize the answer in the middle of the question. When you can get final answer, then you have to rationalize. Okay, it will be easy. So x equal to twenty root three meter. So the distance between building and the lamp post is twenty root three meter. It is not required to put the value of root three here because it is not given to us. Students always remember when the value of root three root two are not given to us, it is not required to use. If the question asking to find out answer up to two places or three places of decimal. Then we have to put the value, but here it is not asking about the answer up to two places of decimal or three places of decimal, so it is not required to put the value of root three. Okay, so this is the distance between the building and the lamp post. We have to mention here horizontal distance between building and the lamp post equals to twenty root three meter. Now in second part. we have to find out difference between the height of the building and the lamp post so difference between the height of building and the lamp post equals to 60 minus 40 because height of the building 60 meter and we have calculated height of lamp post is 40 meter so 60 minus 40 equals to 20 meter so these are the answer student let us solve one more question 
ए वर्टिकल टावर स्टैंड ऑन ए हॉरिजेंटल प्लेन एंड इज सरमाउंटेड बाई ए फ्लैग स्टाफ ऑफ हाइट सेवन मीटर एट अ पॉइंट ऑन द प्लेन द एंगल ऑफ एलिवेशन ऑफ द बॉटम ऑफ द फ्लैग स्टॉफ इज थर्टी डिग्री एंड 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 दैट ऑफ टॉप ऑफ द फ्लैग स्टॉफ इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री फाइंड द हाइट ऑफ द टावर रूट थ्री इक्वल्स टू वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू हेयर द वैल्यू ऑफ रूट थ्री इज गिवन टू अस सो वी हैव टू यूज द वैल्यू सो लेट एस नो द डायग्राम ए वर्टिकल टावर स्टैंड ऑन ए हॉरिजेंटल प्लेन दिस इज टावर स्टूडेंट बी सी इज द टावर ओके एंड इज सरमाउंटेड बाई ए फ्लैग स्टाफ ओके दिस इज द फ्लैग स्टाफ इट इज सरमाउंटेड ऑन द टावर ओके सर माउंटेड इज रिटर्न इट मीन्स फ्लैग स्टॉप इज द इज ऑन द टावर सी डी इज द फ्लैग स्टॉप एंड सी डी हाइट इज गिवेन टू अ सेवन मीटर वी कैन मैंशन हेयर सेवन मीटर दिस इज टॉप ऑफ द फ्लैग स्टॉप दिस इज बॉटम ऑफ द फ्लैग स्टॉप वी हैव ऑल्सो मैंशन सो इट इज गिवेन द एट ए पॉइंट ऑन द प्लेन द एंगल ऑफ एलिवेशन of the bottom of the flag stop is 30 degree and that of the top of the flag stop is 45 degree correct students dekhenge so this is the point of observation a so the angle of the bottom of the flag stop angle of elevation okay is 30 degree and angle of elevation of the top of the flag stop is 45 degree means this whole angle is 45 degree So, so we have supposed here a b equals to x meter and height of the tower b c equals to h meter and all the information we have written here. Let b c be the tower and c d be the flag staff. C d equals seven meter given. Okay. Let b c equals to h meter. B d equals to h plus seven meter. Its whole height b d equals to h plus seven meter. Let A be the point of observation. Let A B goes to x meter. This A B is x meter. Angle C A B equal to thirty. C A B equal to thirty degree. And angle D A B goes to forty five degree. D A B goes to forty five degree. So all the information, students, we have to write, and we have to mention all the information in diagram also. Correct. Now, student, we have to solve. Okay. we have to calculate height so let us take triangle abc as you know that we have to take right angle triangle so abc is a right angle triangle angle b is 90 degree so we are you going to use tan theta tan theta equals to p upon b so tan 30 equals to h upon x tan 30 value 1 upon root 3 by cross multiplication we get x equal to h root 3 now in triangle abd student always remember we have to take right angle triangle so we will take here triangle abd angle b is 90 degree don't take triangle acd because there is no angle of 90 degree correct so 1045 equals to p upon b perpendicular h plus 7 whole height we have to take and base x so 1045 equals to h plus 7 upon x 1045 value 1 By cross multiplication, x equal to h plus seven. Putting value of x from one, x value. We have to put from one x value is h root three. So at the place of x, we can write h root three equals to h plus seven. So h root three minus h equal to seven. H will transpose this side. Now, so h is common. H common root three minus one. It goes to seven. H equals to seven upon root three minus one. Now, student, we have to rationalize the denominator. Always remember, don't put the value of root root three in the denominator. If you will put the value of root three in denominator, then the calculation will be tough. Okay. First, rationalize it. After then, you have to put the value of root three, which is given to us. So, red no. for rationalizing. We have to multiplying numerator and denominator by root three minus plus one. We have to change the sign. Seven root three plus one upon root three square minus one square a minus b 
into a plus b equals to a square minus b square. So 7 root 3 plus 1 upon 3 minus 1. So h equals to 7 root 3 plus 1 in bracket upon 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. Correct? Let us put the value of root 3 now. Root 3 value 1.732 plus 1 upon 2. So 1 and this one 2.732 upon 2. So h equals to when we divide 2.732 by 2 we get 1.366 h equal to 7 into 1.366 h equal to 9.562 meter so height of tower equals to 9.562 meter so students here value of root 3 is given to us that's why we have used the value of root 3 if the value of root 3 is not given to us so we can leave the answer here h equal to 7 root 3 plus 1 upon 2 meter. Okay. After rationalizing, we can leave our answer. But the value of root 3 is given to us. Then we have to put the value of root 3. Always remember, don't put the value of root 3 in denominator. First rationalize the denominator. After then put the value of root 3. Then the calculation will be easy. Okay students.